Yes, today we will learn exercise 1.4. Before that, I will give you a brief introduction about irrational numbers. Let's understand what irrational numbers are. Irrational means illogical. They are not logical, right? So what are irrational numbers is? Irrational numbers are such numbers where P by Q, Q is equal to 0. Whenever the denominator is equal to 0, the answer is undefined. We cannot find the answer. Such numbers are irrational numbers. So the denominator should not be 0. If it is 0, then it is an irrational number. It's illogical number right and then uh, square roots of non-perfect squares the perfect squares non-perfect squares when we find the square root of non-perfect squares generally the prime numbers are already in the square root they remain in the square root because they are non-perfect squares that time they form the thirds root 2 root 3 root 5 are called thirds these are also irrational numbers Right? And non-recurring, non-terminating decimals. For example, this one. This is neither recurring. Recurring means repeating. Same number. Now it is 1, 0. Again 1, 1, 0. Again triple 1, 0. Again 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. There is no repetition now. And or there is a termination. It's going on, going to go. The remainder is not going to come as a 0. So such numbers are called irrational numbers. Got it? So first one is if the denominator is 0, that is an irrational number. And the square root of non-perfect squares, that's irrational number. Square root of prime numbers, that is also irrational number. And non-recurring, non-terminating decimals are also irrational numbers. Now let's come to exercise 1.4. Right? Prove that it is irrational. So in order to prove that it is irrational, we are going to use a method called Proof by contradiction. Contradiction means contrast. Contrast means opposite. Okay, so when one is contradicting the other, one is opposite to the other, we feel that it is uh, wrong. That is the proof by contradiction. Right? Let us see this. Now we know if a, if a thing is uh, irrational, this is, we have to prove that it is irrational. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to assume that it is rational. Assume that, assume means just suppose that, assume that 6 plus root 2 is rational. Okay, so if 6 plus root 2 is rational, suppose, okay, 6 plus root 2 is rational, then we can express it in the form P by Q, where Q is not equal to 0. We are assuming it to be rational, okay. So in that case, what we will get? Root 2 equal to P by Q minus 6. Now you see, root 2 is the side, P by Q minus 6. Now we know that P by Q minus 6 is rational p by q this is a rational number we have taken 6 is also 6 by 1 so uh, the denominator is not 0 it is also rational so this is rational minus rational will give you a rational number so this is rational minus rational will give you a rational number so according to this calculation it is such showing such that root 2 is rational whereas we know for sure root 2 is irrational it is contradicting the law so, how do we say that P by Q minus 6 is rational? Okay. So, and then according to the calculation, what do we infer? Rational minus ra rational will give you root 2 is rational. Okay. It is wrong. It is contradicting. Root 2 is irrational. So, when root 2 is irrational, automatically 6 plus root 2 is also irrational. Okay, as root 2 is irrational, comma, 6 plus root 2 is irrational. Okay, so when we are going with rational numbers and getting a wrong calculation, we automatically conclude that 6 plus root 2 is irrational. Yes, now we will go to the second sum. Right? Prove that root p plus root q is a is an irrational number where p and q are primes. 
Okay, I told you already the square roots of prime numbers are irrational. Right? Now we are given P and Q are prime numbers. So we know root P is irrational. Why is irrational? Because P is prime. Okay? And again root Q is again irrational. Why? What's the reason? Q is prime number. It's a prime number. Square roots of prime numbers are irrational. This is a known fact. Now, root P plus root Q. That is an irrational plus irrational. When we calculate irrational plus irrational. will give you a irrational number. Right? So, irrational number plus an irrational number will give you an irrational number. Right? Now, root P is irrational. Root Q is also irrational. Automatically, the resultant will also be irrational. Okay? So, we proved that. Hence, proved that addition of irrational numbers will give irrational number number hope this is clear to you see you again with the next exercise thank you take care bye bye